wonderful job on this film. Thank you. Uh, there wasn't that you told the story through visuals versus having dialogue, yeah. and yeah. I really love that. Thank you. Um, so, is it how different is it when you have dialogue versus telling it through the camera without words? Uh, I think you know. Uh, I love cinema. I love visual storytelling. Um, I have you know. A, you know, a, a dream is making a movie with as little dialogue as possible. Uh, this movie, you know, still has dialogue and scenes, but um, I do, I, it's always my goal, you know, something I did as a kid um, would turn off the sound and see if a story is being told with the visuals and if I can still understand a story happening. So I think I always care about that, um, and it's a huge, uh, huge element to everything I do, and it's re really fun, you know. And I love the music, and of course, when the credits start rolling, you're like, "Oh, of course, <laughs> Trent Reznor, <laughs> Nothing Is Ross." I mean, I just heard the wa uh, started watching Watchmen, and they're also yeah, yeah, definitely. Score. I can't I mean, wait to see it. Their score is amazing. So, they're do, incredible. do you bring in your vision of it, or do they bring you your vision of it? How does that work? Yeah, well, this one was interesting too because we had so many, um, so many pre-existing songs as well. Mm -hmm. So much of a soundtrack, uh, and it was navigating that and how to score work distinctly mm -hmm. in there. You know and doing something different and it was a lot of fun and I'd say uh, a bit of it, it was it was working together like I sent uh, way too many a dense note document of everywhere I thought score could be and what it could do and all and they studied it and took it all to heart um, and then yeah we just create stuff I think ultimately what we settled on was uh, um, trying to make a score that felt spiritually true to Tyler and Emily um, so uh whether that mean whether that's taking sounds from their worlds and using them musically or also like finding a theme that feels like they're spiritually linked through that and feeling this sort of spiritual connection through that and feeling like the score is coming out from their heads but also there's like a spirit and a heartbeat in it that links the two of them so yeah it was really amazing and i loved watching a black suburban um, family but yet there's one scene where obviously race comes into it, but yeah. it's just a normal family. Like it doesn't matter yeah. what color they are. Yeah. And I love that. And that's what's missing. I think in cinema is that like sure. you're telling a story about sure. someone different that we're not used to seeing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, it, it will, I, to be fair, it was important to us though, to never look at it as a colorless family. Mm -hmm. We're also always like, this is a black family and we need to be authentic and specific to that while it's not a movie entirely about race you know yeah. it has a lot of big universal themes so we did want that's why it was super collaborative with Kel and then when the other actors came on and you know I'm a white guy doing that so <laughs> I wanted to I leaned on them hardcore in that collaboration and just making trying to make it feel honest and authentic um, but then at the end of the day I do think the movie overall is about hopefully very universal human things mm -hmm. uh, that we can I would hope all connect with in some capacity right but I, I love that scene where the n-word is used and that triggers yeah. him yep and that leads to these events these yeah horrific events and it's, it's perfect in that and, and that it's not a it's not an issue until and then all this little moment life too. triggers it triggers something yeah yeah right? absolutely and that in that that use of that word is based on real life stuff like real protesters are doing that in oh, wow. in south florida all based on real things but you're right it's like that um, the, you know, that, whole, that word at that time leads to this huge, among other things, leads yeah. to this huge fight right after it. And that's what I talked about with Cal. It's like his world is, um, uh, it's, it's falling apart so rapidly that he doesn't have time to process anything. All he can do is like react and barely hang with it. So I want to ask you, this movie tackles so much. It's a lot. Where like, it's a teen pregnancy, violence, it's a um, a domineering father, I mean... I mean, that's what's so emotional about it is like all these things that kids have to deal with, yeah. especially when you have in athletics. Yeah. You know, that's like a big part of, of kids today, right? Definitely. Like, how do you handle this? And Absolutely. Um, so what do you think you were saying with the film? Were you just kind of showing a slice of life, like what it's kind of, what life is about, basically yeah, for teens? I, I think so. I think, um, there, like you said, there's a lot. Uh, <laughs> it, and it starts, it starts from a really personal place, you know. Um, there's a lot of autobiographical stuff that myself or loved ones have been through. Um, so at the end of the day, I mean, I think, I think what the movie's kind of really about is sort of the dichotomies in our life you know, and the good and bad and highs and lows and everything in between. And I think it, it is first and foremost about the kids because it's from their perspective. Mm -hmm. um, but I hope, I hope it feels uh, a bit all-encompassing in the sense that 
uh, you feel the parents too and, and what's going on with them even though you're only seeing them through the kids eyes and you feel the kids and ultimately I think uh, uh, I don't know man I think it's about love and uh, forgiveness and uh, uh, that can be a lot harder a harder uh, or easier said than done you know and really feeling that's earned and and exploring the good and bad and all facets of that stuff mm-hmm. and I think the pressures of being a kid that age and uh, you know you're not a child you're not an adult you're right in the middle and it and you feel everything you know so it felt emotionally true as well to kind of just take a swing for the fence and go there and have all these things but that was why it was very difficult to put it all into a coherent story uh, but yeah okay, so you have um, Taylor's story yes. uh, the latter part so yeah. did you know early on or why didn't or did you want to intertwine the story how did yeah. you want to kind of tackle that well, it was always, it was, it was always, that was sort of the DNA that it was always, uh, two parts, you know, and the yin and the, how the yin and the yang make the whole. Mm-hmm. And, and when you're in that perspective, you're fully in that perspective. So you're fully Tyler, then you're fully Emily and she's in the shadows and then she becomes the new heartbeat of the movie. And that was, that was exciting to me, I think, uh, for a lot of reasons. Um, uh, you know, a part of it is just, I haven't seen something quite like this in a two part sense of the of it being linked by such a big tragedy mm-hmm. and then switching characters on top of that but i also think it's a privilege in movies uh, perspective is a huge privilege cuz yeah. you we can see someone that's not us and live their experience and try to understand that and feel for good and bad and everything in between so um, i i think it's it it was exciting to really fully feel this perspective and experience, but then feel a new perspective and experience of them sorting out everything that came before, if that makes sense. Um, so it was sort of all those things linked together. And there's just the fact of like, I don't know, the si- sibling love is undying. It's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a specific link that mm-hmm. the sibling human beings share. That's very rare, special thing. So even though they're rarely together in the whole movie, I like the idea that they're they're spiritually linked and wrestling between each other in the two halves, kind of. <laughs> Do you think the contrast in the relationships? One is feels the pressure, and the other one's a little more relaxed because she's yeah. kind of the forgotten, not forgotten, yeah. but. The focus is not on her, like yeah, it is on absolutely. the older child. So do you think in relationships that, that adds, I mean, they're kind of comparing the two? Yeah, I, I think absolutely. And I think I think she is, he's like the star child and mm-hmm. she's in the shadows and that dynamic can happen in families. But then their world is destroyed. It's like, yeah. it, it, the. I think the greatest tragedy that could happen to this family happens. And like, how do you navigate that that new terrain? So I do think M, M kind of becomes the the heartbeat and the glue that like brings this family back together, at least on the road to healing together. Um, and yeah, I don't know. That was just, uh, that, that was exciting to do, I guess. Yeah. And, and with them, with Emily too, Tay and I talk about, she has like a quiet strength, mm-hmm. you know, and, um, uh, there's, you know, women in my life that I'm uh, blown away by and it can be, it can be a big loud strength, but sometimes it can be a quiet strength, but it's strength and power and, Nonetheless, and uh, yeah, I don't know how they do it. I loved also in the film um, after that incident, what people are calling it monsters, but we know like on the inside of it. I thought that was clever. Amen. Because we, um, we always see things from the outside, right? Exactly. Well, and I think that's what our culture will do a lot of times too. They'll immediately, immediately label and judge something with maybe not knowing every side and aspect to it, you know? So I think that's it, what's happening in the social media there. Uh, and, and even even Emily is wrestling with because she wasn't there like we were. Yeah. We were there for every step, so hopefully we understand it and yeah. his humanity doesn't get lost, but she wasn't. She saw him hurting in the bathroom one night. She knows things aren't going great. Then she walked into that garage, so she's wrestling with a lot too. But I do think a big part of the, like you said, the point of the movie is... Um, Understanding how that can happen, you know, and not losing, understanding all sides and the humanity in that. Um, and, you know, I think that can be a powerful thing nowadays, yes. you know, in empathy, yeah. you know. Yeah, that was very powerful. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah. judge until you know. There you go. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's what I try to do. 